Thanks for coming. I, I, uh, I'm a big fan of number two, uh, the quarterback for Illinois. I got to spend some time with the last two years at Big Ten Media Days. I've watched him. I just love guys like that. And uh, I told him after the game, I thought he's one of the, you know he's a great player. He's a great player that's been fighting, getting hit, and uh, makes plays something out of nothing. I thought he was hard to defend today. And we kind of knew going in uh, that he would be. A, a, you know. uh, the other thing I have to make sure is that and uh, these guys, these players work so hard and. I have to make sure that our focus is on just being, you know, just getting better each week instead of all the national stuff. And you know, I think I'm learning a lesson. Just shut your mouth and let's just, you know, go. Quit worrying about this. Quit worrying about that. Let's get a little better. You play with your third stream and a linebacker. Your best offensive player, Jack Mehard, twinges his knee on Wednesday. Probably not going to play. Ends up your starting defensive end gets knocked out. We're down 11 uh, players for the year. Our special teams are like a little bit of a mess right now because we lost some starters mm -hmm. and we're down. And some guys are playing that really, quite frankly, haven't played at all. And as a result, we just have to coach better. And uh, so that's our, I, I can't wait to get back to work tomorrow. A lot to work on. Tim, open it up. Yeah. Urban, like you said, it was it got tight there too in the fourth quarter sure. a little bit and stuff. And then Carlos Hyde goes goes off. I mean, just talk about what he meant uh, to the team. And, and by the way, did he miss a start as a, as a little bit of a punishment for something? Today. Well, we just, you know, academically, our guys are held to a certain standard, and he's fine. You know, mm -hmm. we just, uh, that's that's up to Coach Drayton and his position group. We call power of the unit, and uh, we grade players each week on, on 0 to 10 on attitude and effort. And he's been great, and I expect him to be great again. So um, I have no problem with Carlos. He's, he's good to go. Um, and it did get tight. You know, you're once again, you're, you're, you're playing a quarterback that's creating plays on you, mm -hmm. a lot of plays. And uh, offensively, we had too many threes and out, three and outs. Uh, but I kind of like the way, you know, I mean, it's, it allows us to really get after it tomorrow, which is what every coach hopes, and quit, quit worrying about everything else. I was going to say, the defense made some huge plays today and gave up. I mean, how, how do you sort of assess where? No, not good enough. I mean, we're yeah. not playing good enough on defense for what we expect. Mm -hmm. uh, but once again, not to take, I, I, I don't want to take any way, anything away from number two. Yeah. Although he's been, I, I've watched him for two years, and I think he's a heck of a player. Bill. It was windy, and that obviously affected the passing in some mm -hmm. way. How much was the win? How much was just practicing the receivers or whatever? Not being in sync. I don't know. I have to let you know that. I got you know the other guy, you know, but you know some of those throws now. I mean, he, he was falling down and throwing down the field. Guys are going to go and make a play, so it was not a conducive. Um, it wasn't a, a environment to go throw the ball around very well, and we we struggled much more than they did. So, Doug, Urban, could you talk a little more about? Newhart's situation and just how much does it Twins his knee on Wednesday. Uh, did not practice Thursday. Practiced a little bit on Friday. Uh, it was during pass rush. Just kind of hyperextended it. We think he's going to be fine. Obviously, he went back in the game. But third or fourth series, you know, we said, you know, if we can get up on him. But that's the mentality. I, I, that's my fault. You know, we got to go win a game. Quit worrying about all this, you know, style points or whatever. And just go win. It's still football. There's still a bunch of scholarship athletes on the other side. There's a really good quarterback on the other side. And, and let's just get, you know, our focus is on that. We're pretty good. When it goes somewhere else, it's not good. How much does it hurt the offense when he's not out there? Oh, it's devastating. You know, not just that he's a very good player, but he's the man. I mean, he's the guy that he's the rally point. He's the he's the leader. So we're not having him. It's a little bit like CB. We're still, you know, suffering the effects of having Christian Bryant out. And then uh, Curtis Grant and Josh Perry. Mm -hmm. you down to, that kept us out of some situational pressures that we wanted. That kept us out of... Uh, you know, some base grouping because, you know, you're just down. You're, I mean, when I say down to the bare nubs, you're down. And, uh, and I think him and I don't know how he played, I, but I could tell that uh, those other two weren't in there. Perry had something happen. This, yeah, yeah. He slipped on ice and hit his head. And I don't mm -hmm. put salt down so you don't slip. Yeah. Right? Bob, yes. go ahead. What, what, about, what about Carlos's two? Um, Really well blocked, and he pulled through it. But I think Evan Spencer proved again why he's so valuable. I, saw, I heard about it. The guys were talking about it. I saw the highlight on the video. Uh, but our, our receivers are doing a good job with downfield. And, and uh, I don't think our offensive line played uh, Ohio State-ish. And so we're going to you know, evaluate that. But near the end of the game, they certainly did. Jackson running around and making plays. Was yeah. kind of a little bit reminiscent of last yeah, year? Yeah, last year. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was me. I called those. You know, I'm going to. He's one of the best players on the team, and I used him way too much last year. I haven't felt like we used him much this year because we had to. But when you're struggling and throwing the ball and they're loading the box on you, um, you have to create some plays. And he certainly did. I think he ran for one, 184. Wow. You yeah, scolded yourself. Last question. About, Go ahead, Clay. Uh, shut your mouth and move on. What, what's been your preoccupation with that? I haven't No, I just, that. I mean, when everybody, you know, just hey, tell yeah. me about your schedule, tell me about this, tell me about this. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How about our punting? Our punting just gave up a. 
a big one today. So uh, I just gotta. You know, I'm a grown person, so I can just focus and ask questions all you want. But it's gonna be all about getting better offense, defense, kicking game, and that's what we gotta do. And if I do, you know, just think about Evan. Evan, you, for you people who know Evan Spencer, for him to make a comment like that, where does that come from? And so we might even think about just kicking back as far as the availability and let's let's, let's just coach and get better. You're down to uh, week number 11. Let's get our 11th win somehow. Great, coach. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you.